We're being asked to condense this logarithmic expression. Let's go ahead and do it. So it looks like we're going to use the quotient rule once, twice. However, before we use it, we have to deal with these constants. So we can bring them upstairs using the power rule. So this first piece here will become the natural log of x squared minus, and this one here will become the natural log of y cubed. And the last one here will become the natural log of w to the eighth. Now we have two minus signs, so we have to use the quotient rule twice. So there is a way around that. Let's, let's actually avoid the quotient rule. To do that, we'll factor out a negative one. So this is the natural log of y cubed plus the natural log of w to the eighth. And that looks okay, right? You have a negative here and a positive here, and here you have a negative, so that looks good. So this is the natural log of x squared. Now we'll use the product rule here. So minus the natural log of y cubed times w to the eighth. So now we'll use the quotient rule. So this is the natural log of x squared all divided by y cubed times w to the eighth. And that is the final answer. I hope this helps.